My name is John Bachman. I'm the manager of education and public outreach at Stratford Hall in Westmoreland County, Virginia. Today I'm going to tackle the second most frequently asked question that I get. How do you know how old the cliffs are? Well, dating and figuring out how old um, the cliffs are relies on some basic information that I want to share with you. Within the layers of the cliff are bazillions and bazillions of tiny little algae, okay? These are called dinoflagellates, dinos for short, and they occur in each of the layers of the cliffs at Stratford. Now for years, paleobiologists have been studying these dinoflagellates and comparing them and using them to indicate which one came first and which one came after that, etc. Well, it isn't surprising, I don't think, for us to find out that the oldest dinoflagellates are found at the bottom or the lowest layers. Now, these dinoflagellates, these hard, crusty, little uh, algae-like plants, are absolutely important in dating the age of the cliffs. Now, relative dating, that's a technique that geologists use where they compare similar things and try to put them in order based on observation, have concluded that the oldest dinoflagellates are about 16 million years old. And they get progressively younger as you go up the cliffs through the different layers. Relative dating. Look it up. It's very interesting. Now, this is one of the principles of geology. Principle is not like a person. Uh, the principle is like really important fact that everybody shares and, has, and agrees on. Now, the principle is called superpositioning. Superpositioning was first thought of in the 17th century by a person named Nicholas Steno. Nicholas Steno uh, was a self taught naturalist who grew up asking lots and tons of questions. Nicholas Steno would write down the principle of superpositioning. It would be the first one that he would write down. The oldest is at the bottom. It has become really, really important to geologists. It makes kind of common sense, but it still had to be thought of by somebody first. Nicholas Steno, 17th century. Why, he's so famous that he's got craters on Mars and the moon named after him. And he, and he also came up with this really interesting sentence. Beautiful is what we see. More beautiful is what we know. Most beautiful is what we don't know. Nicholas Stano was honored by Google with a Google doodle of his own. So how old are the cliffs? About 16 million years old. Why? How did they know this? Based on the relative dating of dinoflagellates. See you soon.